Welcome back to the K2 Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Karen Kelly. Now, I want to talk to you briefly, uh, especially to sales leaders, about the importance of clarity in communication. And the reason, you know, I'm starting with sales leaders is that your vision, your message, whatever it is you're looking to share with your team, inform your team of, you know, that message is going to cascade down. And if there's some ambiguity, if it's not clear, if it's not brief, if it's not relevant, it's going to be lost. And you think about, you know, what the objective of your team is. You know, they have sales objectives, they have timelines, they have quotas. And if if there's any gray zone in any of these areas, the chances of them hitting them is going to be decreased. And salespeople want to win. But in order to win, we need to know exactly what we're doing and what's expected of us. And where can we go for support? And if we're stuck, who can we call on? What resources are available to us? So all these things. So as leaders, communication is so clear. And I want to bring, I want to draw an exercise to your attention. And I did this years ago. And what it was, was, and I'll actually link it in the show notes. There's an activity and it's about folding a piece of paper. So you start, you know, and the instructions are all laid out one to 10. And it says, you know, fold in half cut the right corner, fold in half again. And at the end of it, you're going to open your page and you're going to compare it to your team members. And the irony is the instructions were the same, but most likely everyone's paper is going to be different. And that's because when you leave it up to humans, we're going to interpret it based on past experience, based on what we want to see, based on how we um, perceive the, the, the instructions And we're leaving a lot of it up to chance and to error. And think about, you know, the way it's been communicated. Think about if there's any language barriers. And now these people are working remote and they're, you know, it's not clear to them. Um, Maybe they're new to an organization and they're a little bit reluctant to put their hand up and ask for clarity. So it is critical that your message is crystal clear. And I'm just going to show you two examples so those of you who are watching of what the two pages I had two different people do these and you know they're similar there's the first page and there's the second one now they are similar but there's a few cuts that are different and in the grand scheme of this activity it's not a big deal but when you translate this to the expectations of a salesperson that could be you know a hundred thousand dollar mist of quota It could be a performance objective not met. It could be, um, you know, a a, a potential promotion or a raise not achieved because there was a lack of understanding, a lack of clarity. So we need to be, go over and above in our communication. And you think about now everyone's working remote, you know, we're Zoom fatigue. So shift it up, change it up. Ask your team what is the best form of communication? Okay, so maybe you have to deliver the same message multiple times in multiple ways. So, you know, you send a video of one, um, you can text another, you can have a, an email at another, but, you know, do an omni-channel approach that you have 100% alignment across the board. And even for this example, like with the paper, you know, what about showing them at the end what that paper is supposed to look like? So everybody knows what they're striving for. 